I've never done this before. This is going to be fun. We're doing what's called a market navigator. With Dom Chu, take it yes. easy. My first time. No, this is going to be, this is great because we're going to kind of take you through the mapping and the navigation of the markets here. No, we're going to start. Hence the, hence the name. Hence the name. We're going to talk about packaged food because ConAgra is sinking today after reporting disappointing fiscal first quarter results earlier today. But one of our traders thinks this name could have a continued slow burn even lower. And here to explain why and how to take advantage of it, trade it, is Mike Coe, the chief strategist over at OpenInterest.pro. Mike, let's talk about this chart in ConAgra. It's down on the heels of earnings. You think it's got more downside. What's the trade, and how do you capitalize on that? I mean, it's been a very tough market, obviously, for the packaged food companies, not just ConAgra. Uh, you know, these are companies that have been struggling on the top line, and we did see some margin expansion for a number of them through the pandemic, but a lot of those margins are now coming in again. And one of the trades that we saw an institutional trader do today was the December, January 30 put spread. So they were buying the January 30 puts, which are actually gonna capture the next earnings that the company is likely to report in the first week of January, and then selling the Decembers to help finance that purchase. Now, you know, one of the things that you'll sometimes see is a little bit of follow through when real money accounts. So we're talking about those investors that tend to be sort of long only and slower moving. So we're talking about the T row prices of the world, the big mutual fund companies, endowments, and things like that, is that it takes some time for them to move out of their positions. And I mentioned T row because it was actually one of ConAgra's largest shareholders, and they had already sold more than 6 million shares just in the second quarter of this year alone. So one of the ways I would actually tweak the trade that the institutional traders put on is I would actually reduce those strikes just a little bit and just sort of give us some time for that to play out to the downside, buying the January 28 puts and selling the December 29s against it. Now, the distinction there is that by doing that trade, you actually take in a small credit. So you, you can't lose any money to the upside. You would actually make some money if it drifts a little bit lower. And then, of course, it would have to go you know, well below that, that lower strike for you to some losses, but that would represent, you know, another 8% decline, and we've already seen it decline 10% here. This, this decline we saw today is actually one of the largest. The average earnings move is only 4% for this stock, and obviously, as we can see today, it's down significantly more than that. Mike, a follow-up question on that. Why use this calendar spread type event? What exactly does it do to take those particular put options and stagger them between expiration dates? What's the thinking there? Well, the key thinking on, on a trade like that is that you know, the biggest thing that moves stocks catalyst wise is earnings. Every publicly traded company in the United States has to report earnings four times a year. And that's when you start seeing the big moves. So if you're going to sell some premium to help finance buying longer dated options, it's better to do it when you have expirations that don't capture earnings. And so earnings have come and gone. The news was bad. Obviously, we can see that in the price action. Those December options that you'd be selling, the only big catalyst between now and then is really the election. And I'm not sure that's going to affect the packaged food company business that much. But those longer dated options you own will capture the subsequent earnings. And, and that's why you want to do a trade this way. All right. Mike Coe with the trade on ConAgra and packaged foods. Thank you very much for that. We'll see if that trade works out in the next couple of months.